It is Tuesday, April 29th, 2014, and this young lady who won't turn around to get a decent shot of her will be going home today. She'll be going back to the sands where she'll be released and I trust produce a new generation of stone crab. We are at the sands and very close to low tide. I'm going to take this lady and release her. Say goodbye. Release her and let her find her new home. I release her right here. She's now on her own. And I have to find her replacement. Well, see what we can come up with under these little snapping shrimp. No stone crab. Another snapping shrimp. Yeah, maybe here. It's a big one. Very small stone crab right there. Little gobies. A couple of little gobies. to be a minus eight tide, but I don't think it's going out that far. What have we here? Whoa. Okay. Come on out. Fairly good sized guy here. He occupies claws. See if he's a male, which is what I'd like to have. Yep, and very feisty. Very feisty. All right, we've done our job. We've replaced. this back over where it belongs. Now, let's see what else we can spot along the shore here.
find anything interesting. These little yellow spots, those are from a type of sponge called boring sponge. We've got brown algae here and sea lettuce. You can eat that, the sea lettuce. Or, or of the boring sponges. It has to do, the name boring comes from the fact that they drill holes. Not so much that they're burrowed. Well, well, what do we have here? this guy for the seafood festival that's coming up. Check him out. This guy is bold. That's good. If he does this at the festival, he'll be a big hit. Turn him back over. This is interesting. This is fossilized. This sat inside of a large clam. This is called concretion. That was inside of a clam. yesterday when I collected him that he has a lot of algae on his exoskeleton. Um, we may even get a molt out of this guy. But I have removed, you'll recall, I took all the shell from the eaten oysters, the female had eaten the oysters, and this guy is starting off with a bear tank and what we'll be doing is observing the accumulation of oyster shell over time and drop his first meal down to him. That will be 
his first meal. And uh, so we'll see what happens over time. There'll be another video following this that records all of that.